we're going to Wales. So even though it's brilliant weather, I did bring a raincoat. <laughs> I've been to Wales before, several times, and I've needed one each time. Look at that. I don't think we need the ambulance yet. <laughs> nice thing to have it ready, just yeah. in case. So. Cycleways. Yeah. Two way cycle path. Right. We've got a green little cycle. Feel weird to be on the wrong side of the road. I could try to get you in the camera. Don't worry about that. There you go. Much. Good morning. Wheelers at large. Where are again? We're in Bristol. Well, we got away from the noisy bit quite quick. We're on our way to the Seven Bridge. Well, Camus has found us a very quiet but hilly way out of the city. It's very warm already. Yeah, it's basically a heat wave. A heat wave. This is the UK, come on. Yeah, the papers have got to publish something, not That's true. Well, we're not out of Bristol yet, but I have had my coffee, so I feel much better now. I think all it's done is rooted us off of that main road. Oh, I see, and okay. We'll back, get back on it again. Mm. So that's okay. I had to put some new uh, brake pads in the front after the South Downs ride, and uh, this is definitely going to get them bed in pretty quick. <laughs> we are making a total pig's ear of this, <laughs> but we are gradually getting out of the city. I think we keep getting caught out where Kamut's trying to send us on, you know, the shortest route, and the signs and the city are trying to tell us to go on all these quiet paths, and of course we're just getting confused. I think uh, we've got to choose one or the other and leave it at that. Yeah, it's conflicting, yeah. There you go, first one of the trip. Right next to the Hollywood sign. Oh, we're not even 10 miles in yet. No, but we've had coffee and, um, you know. Oh, I needed that. And a, and a croissant, so. Needed that. I think we're okay. Yeah, so we're heading to Cardiff, about 60 miles altogether today. And um, I got a feeling we're sort of getting somewhere now. Hang on a minute. <laughs> you told me it was 50. Have you been increased to 60 already? Uh, I think with all the wrong turns we've made, we'll be looking at 60. <laughs> <laughs> a secret roundabout. Oh, I like the sound of that. Why is oh. there a secret roundabout? Should we do a circuit? I think we should. The roundabout to nowhere. We're on the secret roundabout. Look, blocked off there. Blocked off here. Mike's over there. I'm not even sure why I'm going round it this way. We might as well go round the other way. So it's a roundabout. The roundabout to nowhere. Oh, roundabout to know. This is very nice. So today will be a second for me and a first for Julie. It will be the first time I've gone into Wales on a bike. cycle route 4 closed. This is a building site, they've closed the route, we can't go through so we'll just have to go up the main road. We don't have a choice. Oh my god, we really got to get on that. Whoever decided to close
road, cycle route four, and put us on this road. Thank you. So we've got a bit of a uh, 50 mile an hour road with lots of lorries, but the upside of that is that um, it's quite a wide road. Oh, well, it was quite a wide road and uh, the lorries overtaking should pull us along, so less effort required. Yeah, so we would have come down through there and up. Uh, we just have to remember for on the way back, we'll have to get on the road for that little section. It's the Seven Bridge. We're about to get on it, I think. Oh, oh my goodness me. We are leaving England. I didn't leave my passport though. To this echo. Some high quality graffiti. <laughs> Julie's in her element. <laughs> We're in Welsh Wales and uh, just heading towards Chepstow at the minute where we will take a left and uh, start heading towards Newport and Cardiff. We're going badgers. Of course the good news is we'll probably have to go back up this on the way back. Oh well, we haven't actually stopped going down yet. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling that this is a good mile already. Oh, this is nice. Here as well. Yeah, let's not talk about that. <laughs> Apparently, this is Mountain Road. <sighs> They've all got their bums towards us. There's a little tiny babies there. Tiny little babies. I can see the top. Well, the top of this bit, anyway. Lots of bird song and the heavy breathing of a middle-aged man. Well, we did do a lot of climbing, so it's quite nice to be doing the uh, downhill as well. Going into a little valley. Probably means that we've got to climb out of it. they've lost someone when we were um, in the hotel room last night Julie looked at the room and she said there's only 10 mile an hour average I didn't really say, say much at the time but to be honest since we crossed the bridge I don't think we've done much more than 7 mile an hour oh, I know where we are uh -huh. I stopped in this little place yes. to try and arrange a lunch stop for you guys. Ah. It was actually shut on Wednesday. <laughs> it didn't work. 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah. According to my legs, this is very definitely a red climb. Yes. Red with bells and whistles. Alarm bells and whistles. I'm having to change one click at a time uh, yeah I've got to turn the bag unfortunately the uh, yeah the closure is getting in the way of this lever the other side's okay I just need to turn it so it's in the right uh, orientation and the lever should go past it Julie's pushed her light down for aero gains 
I mean, it doesn't matter that she's got a teddy, but you know. Prawn salad sandwich. We've just had something to eat and drink. A very nice stop. All right, so I've rotated my bag when we stopped and I now have full movement on the uh, two levers, which is perfect. And I've actually got access to the drops as well. So actually this bar bag with not too much in it, it's pretty good. <laughs> well, I have enjoyed most of this. I'm not enjoying this particular bit. A, it's a bit busy. B, it's into the wind. C, it's very noisy. We've done 36 miles. And this is a pretty good bridge, isn't it? it's working anymore but uh, anyway you can see the gondola hanging down there in blue that goes all the way across like a river crossing like a ferry almost but uh, hanging from the bridge above Newport Transporter Bridge 1906 I thought the bike might struggle a little bit, or I might struggle with the weight on the front, but handles like a dream. A few good comments about Mike's shirt there. Yeah. The youth were impressed, weren't they? They were impressed, yeah. We found gravel. We have found gravel. It's a long time. But we found it. Yeah. Only 40 miles in. It looks like we brought the right bikes for the job. I am pushing to catch you, but I'm not managing it. Right. I don't know who's right or wrong here. Mike's spinning away for dear life and I'm grinding. <laughs> there you go. Don't know about McDonald's, but... Well, if we know it's got toilets, we know it's got coffee. You're right. That is very true. We go through the drive through and see if they'll turn us away. <laughs> We've just had McFlurry and lemonade. Oh, I needed that. <laughs> lemonade. Oh, so cold and so lovely. No, but that's how bike infrastructure works. 49.5. Oh no, Judy's worried about getting a 50 miles. <laughs> we could be going around the block or around the hotel car park. Not used to having a two way bike path, are we? Just 
hit 50 miles. And we're just about to pull up to our hotel, so good timing. So, if you've watched this far into the video, thank you for watching us. Click the like button and join us on the next one. Tomorrow for more Welsh adventures. Ha, 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 ha.